What's up guys and gals, and welcome back to the Nerd Castle, the day in the world of indie games. We're gonna be checking out Survive the Fall. Don't know too much about this one, the developers have been very mum on this one. And I've had it on my wish list for what feels like years. And so I was kind of surprised when I opened up my email, and it said, Survive the Fall as the pitch line, and so I was like, all right, sure, let's take this thing for a spin. So the developers fired over a demo that we can check out. We're gonna play it for about 30 minutes. As I understand it, this is a survival strategy action RPG. It's tagged with like everything, so it's kind of hard to get to the bottom of, but we'll figure it out by the end of 30 minutes. If after watching this, you wanted to wishlist the game, I got a link for you down below in the description. On top of that, I also have a link for you for the Discord and the Twitch stream, just in case you wanted to hang out live. I'd love to see you slide through. But let's hit it. Alright, so here we are at the beginning of the game. Hard beginnings, eh? Just go to the mark point. Alright, I got you. I feel it. I will do as directed by the tutorial, because I know how it makes chat's teeth hurt when I don't. It's like we have a little conversating going on, too. I went to the marked point. What you want now? They want me to find some berries. Alright, let's hit it. We've identified it. Oh, it takes a second. Oh, I can assign the little guys that are on my flank to go ahead and do it, too. So we move with W, A, S, and D. It seems definitely a little bit more action-y than things that we've played previously. So it's definitely, okay, I think the action RPG tag is probably right. We got some berries right there. Sounds good. Radio? Dan, status. You got any sign of game yet? We're craving meat out here. Nothing yet. Getting to the hunting grounds. Any estimate on that return? Uh, take the teapot out. We'll be back in no time. Very funny. Tea's been out for months. Just don't come back empty-handed. Okay, Rust, we're on our way. Uh, my, my general feeling is that whenever somebody says in a video game, I'll be back soon, you're about to go on like a 40-hour adventure where you definitely are not going to get back soon. That's It's a definite operating trigger phrase that I've seen. Can I go inside the, the stasis zone? We need to go back. Okay, all right, fair enough. Lost a little bit of health right there. There's some resources here. We should check it out. Hit it with my machete. What you got for me? El machete. Leaves the arbusto roto. All right, so we've got, I guess, fibers. Okay, and on our right click, it looks like we have a gun. What are the, oh, okay, I see the dot. They might want to get a reticle. It's a little more visu visible. It took me a second to find it. Now that I'm looking for it, though, I know where it's at. It also looks like your sensitivity changes a little bit in between the camera and the gun, but maybe I'm just imagining things. All right, we don't have to do tasks ourselves. We can make other people do it. Yeah, I think I figured that one out already. So what's going on here? While we're here, why don't we get some tenders? So it looks like we can't fix the bridge over there to get to a new zone. I don't think it's possible on this side of the river. All right, well, what's this guy going to do for me? Uh, one of you guys go grab that real fast. And then you grab that real fast. Sir? Sir? Oh, it looks like it queues up orders. Okay. So we did get some firewood. All right. My man's got himself a pipe. He's ready to brawl like the Hell's Angels out here. I keep queuing up the same guy to do everything. I feel guilty about it. Here, we'll, we'll spread the love around a little bit. Just in case. Just to get a lot more tasks done. Got a couple of logs right there. Okay. We'll see what we... I, there's crafting coming. I can smell it. I've played enough indie games to know there's crafting coming. It's kind of a bummer that they don't loot it themselves and then just, like, bring it to you. Yeah, they should definitely loot the pile and then just bring it to you instead of you having to do the looting thing. All right, we'll grab that right there. Grab that right there. Sort of spoils the utility of the thing, I guess. Having to go back and be like, all right, you can't get off the plant until we talk. You go do that. And maybe you go do that. There we go. This guy's already done. Grab all the looties. Maybe give ourselves a little scooty. What's up with this pile of wood over here? Can I break this? Nope. Can't break that. All right. We're blocked off. Sir, are you all done with your assignment? Food ingredients. That looks like garlic to me, man. I love me some garlic. Garlic's like actively a problem for me. I can't, I can't help it. I just love it so much. Nothing on there. Now that the looting's done and we've picked up associated bits and bobs of wood or whatever else we have around, let's figure out, so what's up with this big rock wall right here? If we had a pickaxe, we could break it. Okay. It would appear as though 
this giant shiny over here is where I'm supposed to go next. I was just over here, though. Some objects require the use of melee tools to interact with them. Your companion, Zack, has an axe that allows him to chop down a fallen tree. Oh, nice. Do we swap characters. Oh, it's got like a soldier of fortune thing going on. Okay. Let's go ahead and smack this up. I actually, I kind of dig that different people have different tools and like different things that they do. Well, he picked that one up right there. All right. Nothing in the mushrooms. Does he have a gun? Oh, he's got like a little pipe gun. So Dan is an excellent hunter and tracker. We'll swap over to him. All right. Give me Dan. What is He's a dapper Dan man. What does he do? Use the Dan skill. He's so good at it that they renamed hunting Dan. It's no longer hunting. It's just Danning at this point. There we go. Gather up some of the goodies. Is that thing interactable? It kind of looked interactable for a second. All right. Dan skill. Oh, yeah. Look at that right there. We can hunt. Okay. Nothing on the mushroom. What the hell is this slime wall thing over here, dude? Big old mucinex wall. All right. I'm going to need some antihistamines. We got going on over here. Scavenge it? Yeah, sure. Go through it. Let's see what we got. It's like an old campsite. Looks like we found a Molotov cocktail. All right. It looks like I can throw rocks, too. I'm guessing that's for some kind of stealth system or something that still exists. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I was, I was furiously pressing keys trying to figure out what we were looking for. With a rope, we could climb up here. Sure, scavenge that little rock right there. What do we got? A couple of... Oh, makeshift ammo. Okay, I thought it was just shell casings. Fair enough. Use a rope right there. Why are my guys not keeping up with me? Oh, I hit the control key while I was searching for what I was looking for. Gotcha. All right, well, let's just cut through the woods real quick. I bet it went over here, didn't it? Oh, it went over this way. All right, let's follow it. It's kind of tough to see the tracks over here. I'm going to stop scavenging along the way, too, just so we can make some progress. I forgot. You guys probably want to see some gameplay here, right? A big old destroyed plane. That's weird. The marks don't look like animal footprints. These are human. Take a look. Not so molite anymore. Let me see. Damn it. Looks like a lot of people went past here. Okay, not far from our camp, that's for sure. But where are they? We didn't see anybody on the path. Not our problem. We're here for deer. Wait a sec. The base is on the line again. Dan, you there? We got commotion before, uh, I don't know who... Wait, what? Come back again? Crackling and static. I told you we weren't going to be home soon, man. So I'm scavenging around the plane, trying to find some goodies out here. And it does seem like we've got some manufactured goods. We've got bullets, firewood, I found cans of food. This guy over here I can probably machete. There we go, it's got to be in his line of sight. Oh, that's not one of the macheteable ones. It's a new word I just made up for this specific situation, macheteable. And we got some more berries and some more herbs. Alright. We got going on over here. Uh, be careful when I was playing the demo so your teammates can trap you against walls because they have collisions, so I had to load a save already. Uh, we've got shotgun shells and molotovs. My advice would be either work on the nav meshes or just get rid of the collision on the characters altogether. Make it so only enemies have collision and allies, you can kind of just like phase through them. It does make the game look a little bit cheaper from my perspective, but it does avoid a lot of problems. What's in the big magic crate over here? A lockpick. Okay. Did I have a lock? I must have had one, I guess. We've got a med kit and a national park map. All right. Anything else inside the hull over here? Oh, there's a map right there. So there's the map of the zone that we're in. Actually, it's pretty nice and immersive. I like that. It's a good map. So if we had a shovel, we can get past here. And then there's a bunch of food and crates and stuff in the back. Oh, he's good at it. Okay, can multiple people work on it? I got bad news. You can assign multiple people to work on Rough Rubble, but it doesn't look like they're additive. So, like, they don't make the initial guy go faster, which in my mind is kind of like how... Oh! Oh! I see what's going on. The rubble goes down a little bit for each completed cycle. Never mind. I take it back. All right, rubble's out of the way. I don't know if we want to loot rubble just yet. 
So we got some more rubble over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and I guess get them on it. I don't know if more people can work on that, but whatever. We'll start work on you go loot that. I'll loot this. I do like that you keep your progress if you start scavenging, though, and you have to break it off for whatever reason. So we got what look like old drugs. Fair enough. What did you get over here? Scrap metal, rubble, and wood. Do we have, like, a weight limit or anything we got to worry about here? It looks like you can force it, kind of state of decay style, too. I don't know if there's going to be a noise mechanic that goes along with that later, but if I hold down the F key, it is going noticeably faster than when I just assign somebody. All right, rubble's out the way. It looks like if we can get on top of the plane, there's some goodies up there, too. It looks like we only have a dodge roll, though. Uh, machete's good to go right here, so let's go ahead and cleave those. And it looks like we've got fibers and some other stuff back up in here, too. I'm just going to finish looting. Made it up on top of the plane, so there is a path to get here. Uh, I also thought about the fact that maybe if I'm tired of getting trapped by my teammates, I should just use the control command to tell them to wait for me in places while I'm looting. It's a workaround, but it does work. All right, so with the looting done, let's follow this deer and see if we can nail him down. They're expecting meat back home. Deer jerky. It just pinged me about stealth and tall bushes, man. Hiding in tall bushes and video games. They love each other. All right, so let's see if we can get ourselves a deer ski over here. I'm guessing they want me to sneak up on him. All right, so aim down the button, shoot the deer. Let's shoot the deer. Dropped him. Good shot, man. You got him on. We didn't have to chase him down or nothing. That's usually the second part of this. Even when you get a good hit on, like, the lung or whatever, they run for a little while, and then you got to, like, follow them down. You got to track them a little bit. Although, I guess if you get them good enough, it breaks the spine if you get the right spot, and then they just drop. I'm trying to think of, like, all the various outcomes of taking a shot at a deer I've seen in my life. All right, so we got a buck hide right there. Seems like we're not the only ones after the deer. Sounded like wolves. They're here. Prep yourself. Okay. All right. It's a brawl. We're definitely doing our thing in here. Yeah, I can see where the action RPG reference comes from on the old character tags. Is everybody okay? Did we get beat up? The hell is wrong with the radio? I can't hear anything. I'll try to reach him. We need to get through the interference first and... Get your asses back now. We're getting assaulted by an unidentified enemy. Maniacs are burning the whole place down. I repeat, get your... That's probably not bueno. All right. Must have been their footprints we saw around the plane. They encircled us. Rust and the others are in the bunker. Let's wait here till the threat's gone. I won't cover cower in the bushes while our people need us. Let's get back to base. Uh, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I shot that. I, I, I shot the wolf, and I expected him to go down, and then he did not go down. That wolf was just, like, built different. He was, like, bulletproof wolf, which, by the way, would be a badass anime name. And we got plastic and rubble. I'll take the plastic, I guess. I don't really care about the rubble. Ah, oh, for the love of God, who are they? Looks like a kind of sect. I'll distract him. You go around. Hey, assholes! All right. Well, I suppose that's that. Silently eliminate a cultist on the way. I will do that. When facing enemies, you can activate planning mode to directly indicate attack orders to companions or synchronize actions. You can perform a stealth assassination. Okay, so we've got like a... Come here, I need the body. You can postpone the execution of the plan to synchronize it with the actions of a selected main character. Instead of pressing, hold down the planning button. We're going to have to play around with that. I don't know exactly what it does. All right, get back in the bushes. Get back in the bushes. All right, we're just going to chillax right here for a second. Is 
Doesn't look like I can give him the old blammo either. Alright, you go after him. I'll get that guy. I don't see us getting any kind of XP or anything for this. But, the system worked, alright? We gotta go get this guy now. I don't know if I'm gonna be fast enough. We gotta go get him and take him. Maybe we'll get him on the way back. Alright, they just came back around. It's gonna depend where that other guy stops, though. Take him real quick. Oh, I think they done seat the body. Oh, I think they saw it. It's a brawl. Hit him with a machete. He's not machete proof. We got this. Oh, I kind of see what... Oh. He got the shotgun. Okay, they give you a little line to dodge with. Okay, get out of the way, get out of the way. We got this guy, bro. We got this. Just, you know, reload the reload the blicky real fast. Uh, that did not work. My man is shotgun proof. Alright, he does not care at all about my usage of a shotgun. Alright, there's another one down. Uh, I gotta res my guy real fast. But I gotta take this guy too. I think I could take him. There we go. It's actually got kind of like a how to survive feel to the game, in all honesty. That's kind of what it feels like to me. It reminds me of playing how to survive. All right, so these guys have like loot or anything. I mean, that didn't go as stealthy as I wanted it to. I like, <laughs> There's just these big mounds of dirt where their friends used to be like, yep, nothing's wrong here. Walking on fast. Wonder where Jerry went. Maybe he's behind that large mound of dirt. <laughs> All right, back to base we go. Let's see how this runs. Expedition completed. We got all of our goodies. Let's go to camp and hopefully we heal off. They got the flamethrower though? Oh, that dude's already down. My man. Can't flamethrower a man who's already down. That's just in poor form. I think that's in the Bible. Don't flamethrower a man who's already down. Man, he's got the... Dude, he's got the Picatinny on the flamethrower. Just in case he wants to slap an 8X on it. So those guys are kind of like the guys from Days Gone that like cut on themselves and stuff and like have all the tattoos and everything. Dan, Zach, I'm glad you're alive. Where's Spence? Uh, he diverted the enemy's attention. We might never see him again. Yeah, he's a tough one, but there were a lot of guys at his heels. I see. What happened here? We got attacked by fire-loving maniacs and they hit us pretty hard, as you can see. Yeah, they were in the forest too. Thank God you're alive. The same can't be said about Clark and the others. We also have got a lot of missing and wounded. The savages came from the valley side and broke through the gate, howling like animals. They were a crazed mob that destroyed everything in their path, craving resources and people. Those who resisted were cut down or burned. I witnessed Clark incinerated alive. God, what about the others? Most of us managed to get into the bunker. From the door slit, we saw him burning and looting. Bases in tatters. We need to check it. Alright. I just won't be standing here watching you toil. Recover and rest for a while. It may be. I'm an old timer, you know. First, could you check the damage for me? All right, let's go check the damage. Oh, okay, so we actually like go in between these things and then we can fix them up so we can eat food. Looks like we can treat injuries. I guess we're moving like it's an RTS now and we just send our guys around. Oh yeah, we do. Shelter's completely destroyed. Okay. So we can click on locations. We'll send him, we'll send her, we'll send you, and we'll send you. 
I don't know exactly what it is we're trying to accomplish here, if they're going to rebuild or what, but we'll give it a go. I think we're just checking buildings for right now and touching everything. We're screwed. It's all smashed to timbers. Only the workbench is still useful. How convenient. We need to check how many resources we managed to move into the warehouse during the attack. All right. So I'm guessing that's the stockpile. I, as the leader of the group, will go ahead and check. I also have the coolest coat. Everybody knows that leadership is dictated by coolest hat, coolest coat, and quite possibly coolest shoulder pads. I've learned this from Warhammer 40k and World of Warcraft. All right, down you go. It took a lot, but we got some things. Hopefully we got med kits around. We can heal Jen. All right. So survivors get tired or hungry over time. Treat injuries with a med kit, and that was for Jen. So we'll send her on over there and see how this goes. It's kind of interesting. I might cut this a little bit longer just to see where it goes. Jen's about done patching up and stitching holes. As you know, base is toast. We got to make it whole again. Let's get rid of all the debris first. It'll give us some place for a new shelter. It's going to be hard to get by without it. Maybe we can get some resources from the rubble too for rebuilding. All right. So let's assign everybody to a job out here. Get everybody moving. Everybody's got their own assignment. Let's fan out, boys. It looks like after they get done cleaning things up, they actually bring the resources back to the stockpile, too. It's kind of like interesting clicker gameplay for the on-between portion, or the in-between portion of what is like an action survival strategy stealth. It feels like they've got a lot of ideas rattling around. All right, so the rubble's all good to go. We found some resources and not all is lost. I mean, we also brought back quite a few, so. Since we managed to salvage the resources, let's fix the workbench. All right, sounds good. We'll make wood out of planks because that's just what you do. All right, took me a minute to find it, but you don't repair it just by interacting with that thing over there. You've actually got to go into a menu. It took me like, I got to go to the little building menu down here. All right, so he came back down here. He's grabbing stuff off the shelves where it's stored, and he's going back to fix it. And fixed it shall be. We did it. Now we can process wood into planks. All right, let's go ahead and do it. So we've got a crafting interaction right there. It looks like he's good at crafting. So we'll just go ahead and, like, I don't know how many planks I should mash out. I don't know how important this is. It says five on the tutorial, so maybe that's what I'll go with so that I don't waste a bunch of resources. Craft that up. Planks are good. So we've got our five planks, and then once he puts those back in the stockpile, I'm guessing it's going to ping us with whatever we've got going on. All right, so five planks are in there, and now we can build new structures. We need shelters. All right. Let's build a room. As far as shelters go, got one right there. I actually don't know how to rotate the structure right now, so I'm just going to build it over there. And then we'll have the old guy do it because it says he's good at building stuff. That does seem to be an old guy trait. My dad can, like, literally fix anything on Earth from, like, circuitry to soldering to roofs to irrigation and drainage. Old guy's got skills. There we go. Knock that thing out. All right, we got a room to sleep inside of. Now that we have a frame, we dedicate it with rooms. Oh, there's like a modularity to it. I can dig that. All right, so inside this place over here, let's say we wanted to find rooms over here that we can play around with. There we go. So we've got bunks right here. So it's got kind of like a little bit almost. kind of reminds me of XCOM where you've got a frame and then you build other stuff inside of it. After a bit of time waiting, it looks like we're coming up on our victory here. Bedroom. All right, so now we have a place to rest. So it looks like what it wants me to do now is that there's a tech tree right here. Quite the expansive one, to, to be honest with you. It seems like there's a lot of things to unlock here. And so it looks like there's going to be some serious content. All right. Cool. Well, let's go into the research screen. So it looks like we've got a blueprint over here for research data. Used to gain science points by researching in the archives. All right, let's go for it. Send Big Dog over here. Master researcher. Research done. So we got our knowledge points so we can make a canteen. All right, let's do the canteen now. So the canteen is... There we go. 
Okay. Definitely want to get a little sound effect on there. It's like boop, 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 whenever you do it. It just makes it more satisfying. I can't explain why you want to do that. But I will say the games that feel the most satisfying have a wub wub. Like a wub 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 You know, when they go around, you unlock things. Makes things feel more analog. All right, so once we have enough materials, we'll make a canteen. Thanks to knowledge, we can expand the base and build a wall destroyed in the attack. Let's focus on outside problems, though. Those lunatics caught us totally unaware and totally unprepared. When we hid in the bunker, I noticed something outside. Liz ran from her hideout towards us, and the brutes were right behind her. I wanted to help, but I was petrified with fear. I froze with my hands shaking. They got her halfway, and as soon as they realized they had no means to break into the shelter, they took off, together with Liz. Okay. The rabble had to leave a lot of footprints. Track them down. There's also another thing. Those savages destroyed our radio transmitter. Without it, I can't communicate with you. Fortunately, with the help of the map you brought along, I was able to locate an old radio station nearby. If you somehow manage to activate it, the radio station is going to aid us in communicating across longer distances. Okay. At the time, Use the time you have before the end of the day. At night, you should head out to the valley. Okay. Cool. Let's do this thing. So we have limited time now. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Okay, so what I would like to do then is I need somebody who's wounded. Let's have Dan come over here and heal himself with a med kit. How does the bed work? We get 40 HP back. Okay. Let's put my character inside the bed real fast. We'll just kind of see how that plays. Like, and if we have time to do it. So healing and med kits are done. So med kits are kind of like a faster solution to sleeping. Sleeping seems like it takes a pretty big chunk of time, but at the end of the day, it's resource free and it heals you for 40%, which is a little bit less than a med kit does. We also have a lot of rubble around here, so I'll probably assign people just to clear that out real fast. Just make sure that I got somebody on everything. They've all dropped a whole bunch of stuff back off at the stockpile. And they did seem pretty adamant about me getting the canteen done. So after the old guy's done, we'll send him over there to go do it. And it looks like they just go back to the campfire whenever they're finished with all their activities. Okay. There's a lot of fun activities to take place around this camp. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We got things to get done. Let's keep working on loot piles. And just getting done what we can get done. Because I got a feeling they're going to want me to be on top of this resource game by the time we get out of here. Canteen is done. Now we can get rations to eat. 40% food meter. How, does, how do we tell what everybody's food meters are? Okay, so it looks like Zach's hungry. So let's send Zach over there to get some foodles. We brought back that can from the field anyways, so like, why not? And then Rust. Oh, nighttime's here. Never mind. Rust and Jen probably aren't going out with us, though. Everybody's kind of sleepy for now. I feel a little bit nervous about this. We got people that are hungry. We got people that are tired. I guess we'll just sack, we'll get them on the rack real fast. And then I think we probably need to build another bedroom so that I can simultaneously rest everybody. Let's get another set of bunks right there too, I guess. Otherwise, I feel like we may end up soloing this bad boy because we only have one person that's actually like ready to go. It does look like they get partial credit, though, which is kind of nice. I didn't expect to see that, so I guess it trickle charges upwards with their rest. So that if it's interrupted, they can maybe kind of, like, pile through and be okay. Oh, off we go to the planning screen. It kind of reminds me of Glory of Victus, but like a post-apocalyptic Glory of Victus. Like, that's kind of what the gameplay loop feels like here to me. So we can go on an expedition. We need two companions to go with us. Uh, I guess sleep in a bed, I suppose. Oh, is he the only one that can go out with me? Okay, so those guys all stay at home. Fair enough. I guess we'll prep. We can go to Eden City, Wild, the Wasteland. All right, well, let's just go for that one right there. Prepare for your expedition. Uh, we've got a machete, which was pretty useful last time. We've got an air rifle. Okay probably take the shotgun with us too because that worked out all right do i need to give them ammo is that a thing that they need or do they just bring it with them okay so they got the ammo right there all right bring whatever guns you can bring then and should i bring med kits like in a pocket maybe just to like patch up 
Looks like we've also got different levels of protection as well when we take guys out. Okay, yeah, throw on a sweaty or whatever. Sounds good to me. And do we really need anything else? Backpacks. Yeah, backpacks would be smart. Let's get backpacks. All right, so we're back out here. Their footprints must be around somewhere. All right, Dan, let's take a look. Let's see what we can get out. Let's see what we can get done out here, brother. This looks like the same map we were on before. I could use a little snack. Well, I mean, there's stuff around. We'll see if we can find some berries or something, maybe help out with that. I don't know what happens when our sleep meter gets down to minimum. Let's go ahead and take all that, and then can you just eat those right now? Uh, it looks like I can, so that patches up that problem. Let's see if we can scavenge out here, too. We'll do it quick. Bring that back home with us. Looks like they cut off this way. Left a bunch of things laying around, too. Well, hold on. Assign the homie over there, and we'll get it all done a little bit faster. Alright, so we got some glue. We got some more chemical waste. Alright. Looks like there's something over here that we can't identify. Get that done a little faster, bro. Oh, we got a bad guy over there. I see him. This game would actually be kind of badass if you were able to get yourself like any kind of... Okay, so we got guys walking around over there. So they set up like a little devil shrine over here. What can I do with this? Oh, he's coming back this way. All right. Oh, I can shoot the ladder down and make it fall. Interesting. It's got kind of like a commandos vibe to it, too. Where you're not really meant to, like, beef with people. Like, you're supposed to take care of it in stealth. Maybe there's, like, a way around back we can go. The front door may not be the wisest idea here. Oh, he heard me harvesting mushrooms? Interesting. Is there any place I can fall back to? Because if he investigates that, that's going to be an easy way for us to, like, drop an enemy. I also need to find some more berry bushes or something while I'm out here. People getting hungry. All right, he's investigating it. Get his ass. That's what I'm talking about. Down he goes. All right, dead bodies hit. Oh, I can loot him? All right, loot him. What's he got on him? Anything good? What's in them pockets? Uh, he's got some arrows, actually. That is actually useful in a post-apocalyptic situation. Harvest up some mushies. Oh, uh, that just gave me chemicals. I was hoping there'd be something edible out here. It's difficult to say if there actually is a back door that we can get through. Oh, there's a lot of guys out here, dude. I don't know if I want to push that. Luckily, our enemies are blessed with just the worst case of glaucoma in the history of all games. That guy's like almost in a spot where I can get him. There you go, get him. All right. Hide the body real quick. <laughs> Nobody can see it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Nobody is aware. There was no guard here. There was only a large anthill of dirt. No dead guy has ever been in this area. That partner that you were standing guard with just a minute ago? Meh, don't worry about him. He's fine. Probably went off to take a piss or something. Seems kind of dubious to go for that over there. Is she going to come out a little bit further? All right, she's turning around. Let's get her. There we go. She's all nice and down. We'll just hide the body over here. What body? No body. Who's over here? Nobody. That's who. Well, that's not good. Oh, there's a lot of them coming, dude. All right, finish that guy off. Wait, what? All right. <laughs> he didn't hear the gunshot. <laughs> that guy just walked past. Like, while we were in the middle of a gunfight, it was just like, I don't see anything. Must have been the wind. The weather out here has just been crazy lately. 
Looks like there's only other one other guy across the camp that we got to worry about. Oh, we got a rope. That means we could get up that one bluff that was on this map, too. What's this over here do? Shoot. Oh, you can, like, throw a rock to get people to gather around an explosive, then blow them up. Gotcha. I can also shoot that right there, I think. Nice. It worked. What you got for me? Any snackies in here? Like you got some Teddy Grahams or you got some Doritos or something? Old drugs. Well, that's not Doritos. Although I guess for some people, Doritos might be a drug. Oh, we've got a mechanical trap right there that we could deploy. Okay, I got the machete and he's got the ax, so I can't get into that room right there. But we'll do it in just a second. All right, that's all nice and opened up. You wait here so that you don't trap me in. Let's see what we've got. Bullets. Bullets are good. Any mission we come out of with more bullets than we left with, in my opinion, is like an absolute victory. We've also got memories. They are a currency. Okay, so there's going to be traders and things, too, we got to worry about. Break this open real quick. Scavenge that. Dude, the music swelled right there. I thought somebody aggroed us again. Bricks, rubble, and steel. All right. I mean, those those are the fundamental hallmarks of society. What did you have? Anything good? Let me go through that backpack right there. I am forget about you. More money. Okay, good. Oh, I need a pickaxe to get in there. All right, fair enough. Everybody's complaining about being hungry right now, so like, I'm gonna try to go through some bushes and maybe find if I, maybe figure out if I can find anything up in them. Got another thing we can get through over here. All right. Oh, that's where they wanted me to sneak in. Gotcha. And if you got a crowbar, you can break into there. Hey, we got a berry bush back here, though. That's good enough treasure for me. I'm hungry. I'm starving out here. I'm grumbling. One berry. Well, guy in the park got the last one, so I guess you can have that one. Just to keep you topped up a little bit, I suppose. Bad guy over here. Can't tell. I'm just gonna, I wouldn't let me stealth attack him right there. But it looks like the good news is, if you just jump him, I think his pathfinding was bugged out. But it looks like if you just jump him and womp him in the back of the head with an axe, he's not gonna be able to recover anyways. So I guess screw him. What you got over here? Anything good inside this giant trash bag? Is it just gonna be a bunch of old Fritos bags? Like what's in here? Garbage. Incinerate the infidels. That's me. Right, hide that body, hide that body. Nobody knows what just transpired. We got two guys looking outwards right here. I don't know exactly how I want to handle this. Let the voices guide me. Hey man, that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing since the beginning and it seems to be working out okay. What's that guy gonna do? And the good news for games like this is that you can save whenever you want. I can't stand it when games like this have checkpoints. It's so annoying. Like, I love that they let me just, like, save whenever I want to save. Yeah, let's maybe, let's maybe avoid that consequence right there. We may want to leave the fuselage of the plane alone. It seems like that's a tough grid to get across. Oh, we're full up. What does that do right there? An herbal remedy that gives us 60 HP? Okay. Toolbox over there. Maybe this would be a time, so... What was your ability? So you had that. Oh, I don't think we have the guy that throws rocks. I was going to try to throw a rock to distract him, but I think we might be kind of up shit creek here. 
They've got a pretty solid grid going right there that's going to be difficult to patch our way through. Another Ermal Remedy. Take that in case anybody gets themselves the snuffles. Looks like we can go up and over the top, though. We're full up anyways. At this point, I'm just killing for greed so that I can come back later and get the rest of the stuff, like on our next expedition. I don't think I brought back too much food, though, which has got me kind of concerned a little bit. I may do what I used to do. There was another game like this called Glory of Victus, and what I used to do in Glory of Victus is I would gather everything, and I would put it in the closest rebel pile to the zone in because the loot was persistent. And so I would spend, like, an entire night looting an entire zone and killing every single guard and then putting everything right next to the entrance of my base so that when I came back, I could just snag it real quick. Get him. Another one bites the dust. Might as well hide the body. You don't know who's going to, like, come over here. More arrows on him. I may stash up some of this stuff so that I can get some more food. Can I do anything on the expedition? A decoy trap, mines, grenades. Okay, all kinds of fun things we can play around with in here. We got toys. Let's go rescue her real fast. Oh, we don't have the key. That's why that guy over there was like, where did I put the key? Hmm. We may have to come back with a crowbar then. I don't know if I can craft a crowbar like mid-raid. But. Get you real quick. Two more guys over there. All right, we'll just hide this body then. Doesn't even matter. Oh, we have a food ration. I didn't even realize I had a food ration in my inventory right now. Okay, yeah, let's go with Zach then, and we'll give him the food ration. Right, it looks like hardtack. It does not look delicious, but how do I swap in between my items? Well, it said there would be a radio menu if I held it down, but can't seem to get it to work. So we'll just feed him up for right now. Maybe the radio menu isn't in yet. Maybe that's a thing that's coming later. As I understand it, this is still in development, so... There's two guys over there that we still gotta deal with. With the piles of dead bodies. I don't think anybody's coming to help these guys if I can snipe one. Oh, look at that! They've got, like, a little Satan statue over here. This guy here comes all the way down the road, so you know he's gotta go. That thins out our resistance in the other areas of the map anyway, so we don't have to worry about it. There was one of these big concrete tubes on the playground when I was, like, in kindergarten. But it was smaller. Like, you had to kind of, like, crawl through it, I guess. I'm just going to get him real fast. Oh, he's got a flamethrower! Smack him up. I can't fit back there with you, I don't think. I'm going to be a homie, and I'm going to help. There we go. All right. The machete seems to do a lot better damage. We found the key. It must fit into one of the doors nearby. Hell yeah, dude. Some rubble back up in here. You stay here for a second. I want to see what's inside this super awesome... Oh, the crate has rubble in it. What has rubble in it? There we go. All right. I want the crate over here, dude. This crate looks like it's got the money magic in it, dude. It's going to have like a pristine Glock with a suppressor. Oh, we got food. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Anything else inside of here that we can fool around with? Looks like they just move their stuff in like they pay rent, dude. All right. Some rubble. What else we got? I dig it. Like it's buggy. For sure, with, like, the stealth system and also with, like, some of the clicky clickies when you're on the management screen. Sometimes you'll tell a guy to go do something and, like, he doesn't. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Is that a lunchbox? It looks like a lunch. Oh, it's an empty lunchbox. That's the worst kind of lunchbox. But this is an early demo for Survive the Fall. I dig what they've got going on here. It definitely feels like the development of the ideas from Glory of Victus. That's what it feels like the most to me is it definitely feels like Glory of Victus but less focused on stealth. Like, you can still stealth stuff, but it seems like your shotguns and your weapons do a pretty good job in this game, whereas, like, in Glory of Victus, if you got found, the guards were tough to take down because they were kind of, like, armored hussars or whatever, you know, and you were just, like, a normal peasant. So, got gasoline on them, too. All right, well, let's at least try to evac our person while we're here. I don't have a crowbar, but... 
Hey, hi, hi. Who are you? Who are the maniacs outside? Nope, evil and disgusting. So who are you? I'm Blooper for friends, but you can call me Blooper anyways. Okay, uh, what's wrong with Liz? Your friend is clearly suffering from stasis. Shit, do we know how to help her? Help? Stasis may turn her into something truly beautiful. If you like her this way, I know how to help her. Yeah, go ahead. With those maniacs outside, we can't make it work. They're scattered around the camp. How did you get here unseen? Ah, eh, irrelevant now. The patrol's gonna be back any minute. They want to sacrifice us in a blasphemous ritual. You gotta take care of them. Want us to kill them? Don't be a whimper. Take care of them all, especially the fatty fellow. Meet me here when you're done. I mean, I feel like I mostly got them all. I think there's like one wandering around back in over there. But yeah, this is Survive the Fall. I dig it. I had a good time with this, despite having to reload for being stuck behind a team member and the little bugs and things we came across. Ooh, we can get science from them. We got dirty water right there. All right, well, I'll finish off the camp. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we were fooling around with a title. Oh, my God, there's so many over there. We were fooling around with a title called Survive the Fall. I don't know how we're going to clear that camp without, like, a hand grenade or something. Like, we got to get it, like, right up into the middle. Oof, that's going to be a mess. All right, well, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for hanging out, folks. Bye-bye.